G'day everyone, Matt here from Family Bricks and just wanted to do this quick little news item. Recently in the last week, Legoland have submitted an application to have 15 little timber cabins erected which support their Christmas events and things. Um, they want to do this on a more permanent basis. What they've been doing at the moment is each year they erect them, the temporary structures and boardwalks, and then after the Christmas event, they then take them away. You can imagine that's going to be fairly expensive and you know, just a, a pain to keep on doing it. So they want to make them permanent. Let's have a quick look and see where in the park that we're actually talking about. So here, the blue is all the way around is the actual park itself. The main entrance is in through here. So you've got your big shop, you've got your Star Wars, you come down here to the Viking one and then down the side of the hill and everything down into this area here which is your pirate falls and over here is your castle area ninjago over there so we're looking at that that space there so within that space as outlined in that red these are the cabins that they want to put in at the moment they do it each year with 12 but now they're actually applying for 15 so adding three more in these cabins are wood tongue and groove and they sit on four pegs and they don't really have any waste features or anything like that. And the big concern that they've been having with the application is all the trees and things which are all in and around here. They really, they're not going to be removing any trees and basically doing everything to try to make sure that the footings don't interfere with the roots or anything like that. There's quite a number of tree surveys. This is one of the tree surveys which goes through and is listing all the, you know, the the different bits and trees and they've actually got them all numbered and everything. I think there's about 45 of them in the area under consideration. The actual cabins themselves are relatively simple and straightforward. So you can sort of see here, you know, double doors, windows. It doesn't look like that there's a window out the back or anything there and little balcony, little porch as you come up here and then it's only about 2.4 meters this way and 3.4 meters that way so not very big if you think about it in terms of you know if you were to put a double bed in here it would take up most of that space the application does go through and really labor on the point that these are not destination attractions in themselves so they are only meant to be there for the christmas time and used for that it does make you wonder though if their Christmas plans are only for November and December, what they're going to use it for the rest of the year. Um, maybe they start doing more seasonal events and things and using this area for that. Whether, you know, Easter time you're doing something with Easter hunts and things like that. Um, when we were at Disney World in Florida, uh, one October, they make a really big deal of Halloween. So maybe they'll start thinking about doing other events and things like that. This is a full planning application, so there's a fair number of documents here. They do make a point in the actual application of saying more or less that they could achieve the same thing under permitted development, which basically within certain don't really need to apply for it. But with this, it just gives them certainty into the future. It's great to see them continually updating the park and adding elements to it and be interesting to see how this goes. Do you have any thoughts and comments on this? Uh, sound off in the comments below. Otherwise, we have other videos on the Legoland Park and things to do and see and how to save money. So check them out and they're probably on screen now. Until next time, when we talk about all things Lego.